And welcome back. We're joined now by Karamo Brown and his son, Jason. Of course, we're used to seeing Karamo in his, in his role as the culture expert in Queer Eye. Well, now, he and Jason are out with a brand new children's book called I Am Perfectly Designed. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be here. So where did the idea for this book come from? So I Am Perfectly Designed is a mantra I used to tell Jason and his brother when they were younger because they were bullied. People would make fun of them because we didn't have a lot of money, because their father was gay. You know, and so he would come home and he would say, I want to be someone else or I don't want this life. And I would say, never say that. Remember, you are perfectly designed and you should love who you are. And it worked because here he is, a thriving young man. How yeah. special was it to write a book with dad? That's got to uh, be cool. It was monumental, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, it, but he's, it was actually like dad, though, so he stayed strict on me, made sure I <laughs> hit that line. I'm saying, like, it was actually like working with your dad that you would think it would be. You know, so, Karama, I, I'm fascinated by this because yeah. you didn't find out about Jason until he was nine years old. Yeah. And then you get custody of him and his younger brother. Mm -hmm. What was that like? It was great. Um, their mother is was my best friend when we were 15 and is one of the most phenomenal women in the world. And we came together and decided it would be best for Jason to move in with me and then his little brother later. And, you know, for me, you know, there's not often you see, oh, there goes my babies right there. <laughs> um, you don't see too many, you don't hear stories of black men or single fathers stepping up. Mm -hmm. And it was important for me to make sure people see, like, yes, this is this is real. There are men who step up and are single fathers, and there's also black men who step in and raise their kids. And it changed my life for the best. You, you crush, like, 18 stereotypes every day. I try, you All know what I mean? Why yeah. not, you know? Jason, who do you want, who's the book for? What do you want folks to take away from? So I want people to take away from this book that you are perfectly designed it's literally the mantra my dad has been giving us and um i want kids people my age our parents all over teachers to all take this message and just kind of just know that you are perfect the way you, you are you are yeah. enough I, said, yeah. I, I gotta tell you I, i've been shocked at this whole twitter thing you you've yes. come off of twitter i did because you said some nice things about Sean Spicer? I did. You know, Sean Spicer and I have different political views. I'm a Democrat. He's a Republican. And yes, he did lie to the American public when he was in office. But I still believe that you can reach out to those who have different political views and be nice. And people were very angry. They gave my kids death threats. And once I got to that place, I was like, I can't do this anymore. If I want to change the world, I need to do it and engage with people. And sometimes social media is not the most constructive place to do that. So I left. You're both contestants on Dancing with the Stars. Yes, we were. Um, what do you think of his dancing? I think he doesn't do well, but you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. He's, he's a nice guy, do, do but... You think, do you think they purposely put him in the most ridiculous outfits possible? Um... <laughs> Ooh. I know the de uh, the costume department, and they work their butts off. So I think it just, they're making sure that he looks very perfectly designed. As well. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> and on that note, oh, we thank you guys for being here. More on perfectly designed, visit today.com slash shop.